piece for me was seeing the King and Queen's face in fireworks in Wigan Mains Park. <laughs> yeah. What an excitement that was. You were brought up in the war, weren't you, as a little boy? I was, yes. Uh, my mum, she was a bit... She, she was born a few years before you, so she was a teenager when the war was on, so she knew what it was like for to, <clears throat> ah. to, to be... To, to experience peace, and then she actually worked in a munitions factory oh. in the war as a teenager. She has extraordinary, she's no longer with us, but she, she had extraordinary first-hand stories from the war. Mm. But of course, one of the things I read about you while preparing for the interview, Syrian, is the fact that your all your formative years were during conflict. And so therefore the extraordinary mm. thing for you was when peace broke out. What, yes, I was lucky enough to live in, in Wigan in, in the north of England where we had very few bombs, only two during the war. And in fact, we, we had evacuees from uh, Middlesex staying with us. So I didn't realise that this wasn't normal to live with uh, total strangers who moved in for a year. Yeah. I rather took over. I slept under an Anderson shelter in, in, in the back room. Uh, which was a, a, a metal table, basically. We had blackout materials so that the enemy couldn't see our lights on. All this seemed very normal. The food, there was very little food, and what there was was rationed. So uh, peace for me was seeing the King and Queen's face in fireworks in Wigan Mains Park. <laughs> yeah. What an excitement that was. The arrival of the first banana, which was shared between four children. Uh, and... Uh, Wow. Eventually, sweets going off the ration, uh, and you could buy any sweets you want instead of just Uncle Joe's mint balls. <laughs> and have ever had those? No. We should, oh, we should, oh, they should come in a tin, not a jar. Yeah, that's right. They? they come in a tin with victory V's. Uh, yes, as well. <laughs> victory V's. Yes. <laughs> I, which are a bit, little bit strong. Best sucked through a hanky, I find. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> they, they were right. So the the um, the, the four uh, strongest sweets bang for your buck were, I think, Uncle Joe's mint balls, Victory V's in a tin, mm -hmm. Fisherman's Friends, oh, yes. and Imperial Imps. Really? Do you remember those little Imperial Imps? No. They were they were like in a small tin. They were the smallest no. things, but they I were like they were like the um, plutonium of the mint. Yes, they're too strong for me. 